Hi guys, in this video we'll talk on how to create a color box uh, just to separate a piece of text from other one. So here I've got two pieces of uh, content and they are different but they are not visible that they are actually different. So I want to have something like looking like this. You see? Right here we have just a plain white text, white content, and right here we have two separate boxes which actually creates the better user experience and allows to see clearly that it's separated. So what we're gonna do here? First we need to create a div class and uh, let me show how we do that. So I'm in the text editor and just put it something like here. This is our text. So this is snippets and uh, there is nothing that you should pay attention here. Just uh, just the content here, any content. It's already uh, has links and uh, or, yeah, some text and some stylizing. But what we're gonna do is add a div class here. So I'm starting to type opening tag div equals and I will call it free. Okay. Free, then I close the quotes, close here, and don't forget to put the closing div tag at the very end, like this. Okay. We have opening div tag with the name of the class, which is free, and we also have closing tag. Now we want to put this whole thing into the new post, into the text mode. Okay, so we have visual, we have text, so we we are putting code into the text, then publish that. Then we want to actually create the CSS, the stylizing of that. In order of doing that, and that's an easy way, I'm using the Firefox and I'm using the Firebug plugin. So I'm calling the Firebug plugin and create a new div. I'm putting this free, and then hit enter. Then I started to provide the CSS. So I'm starting from background. Okay. And I'm putting something like this background color. You see it's immediately painted. Now I have this uh, text very close to the top and also to the edges. So I want to add some padding here. So I'm typing padding and providing like 10 pixels. You see it changes. Now we have a little bit of space and separation here, left, right, and if we want to provide different spaces here at the top, we may put something like uh, 20, 20 pixels at the top, then 10 pixels at the left, then 20 pixels at the bottom, or to the right, and now so up, right, button, and then left. You see it has different different spacing. But I'm just putting 10 pixels here, so meaning the pattern is everywhere the same. Now I want to add some border, and I'm typing the border. I want it to be one pixel wide, uh, solid. We can put dashed like this or even dotted, but I prefer have a solid color. Then we provide the color of the border and I want to be it light gray. Okay, and next thing I want to provide this border radius to have a little bit curves and I want to have it like five pixels. So we've got curved borders. Now our box is ready. Now I want to copy this whole CSS from here, from Firebug. Copy that. And going back to my admin area, go to 
appearance editor and I will want to paste this code into the CSS file, style CSS, that's the usual part. So I want to scroll down and find a way to put that code, but please be aware that you need to put it between anything containing media, because that's for responsive for mobile screens. So I'm looking everything and I'm performing a search for media. Okay, we've got the media queries. So I want to put it something somewhere here. Then I update the file and I've got my box actually ready. That's all. Uh, right here we are using a little bit different scenario and uh, we are going to optimize press to the dashboard and we want to provide the CSS here under custom CSS. So we want to paste it here and it will actually do the same job as we put it into the under appearance and uh, editor style CSS. I want also to put that HTML code that we created in the previous step, this one, into my Genesis simple hooks. But uh, you actually in um, most cases don't need to do that. So the HTML you're going to paste into the text mode of the new post and the CSS, the class of CSS, you want to put under appearance and editor style CSS. That's actually how it works here. So I will finalize that by inserting the code into the appropriate hook area. So in this case is Genesis after entry. So you see that I've got one class, then I created another class for DIV paid, and in the end I have two differently looking boxes. Thanks for watching. Bye.